and awarding authorities in the country will be assessing informal skills in accordance with experience and gauge their relevance to the industry under a new framework. The Kenya National Qualification Authority Acting Director General, Dr. Alice Kande, says the new framework will let candidates advance th through three levels where artisans in the Joakali sector can get tested in their vernacular language for the best assessment. 84% of Kenya's workforce is in the informal sector, with many households benefiting directly or indirectly from blue-collar jobs. Qualification assessment bodies say the country could benefit even more from this lucrative sector by proper assessment and certification of individuals by gorging their skills and their relevance in the job market. We talk about graduates that we're getting from our very many institutions in the country, but at the same time the industry says that uh, these graduates you're placing are not really uh, demonstrating, the comp they're not bringing out the skills that we really need that are relevant. You are looking at those youth who are out there installing and they don't have a certificate. They can be assessed and tomorrow they can come to you with their certificate and say, I'm an installer, I'm certified. I do this job and I've done it well. Give me another job, give me a new contract. They say training and assessment systems have only focused on academia and a new framework by the Kenyan National Qualification Authority recognizing prior learning will be based on the individual's ability to solve real-time industry problems. Uh, in as much as we are looking, uh, we're looking aspects like uh, expression through English and Kiswahili, we also want to make sure that that person actually fits the bill to be given a certificate because they actually demonstrate that they have the competence that we are looking at. Dr. Alice Kande says the assessment process takes into account the potential employer's input during upskilling stages to ensure a holistic approach by the candidates. To prove that, you have to provide evidence, what we call portfolio of evidence. So this is a package of information that you give to an assessor from a qualification awarding institution. We therefore realize that uh, people who are not able to express them through uh, the national languages, that is na English and Kiswahili, we still find them very useful in, the, in our economy. They contribute a lot to our economy. And so we realize that as a country, uh, it's a high tech that we embraced also that critical component. She says language barrier has for a long time hindered the expression ability of artisans and the assessment will now consider tests in vernacular languages to get the full scope of their knowledge and an accurate placement into one of the three skill categories and of various programs. That fully in, um, in whatever part of the country, you know, will hear this and say, ah, but I know how to do this. Let me go and avail myself. The program has already registered more than 800 artisans seeking certification. Hibak Said for Easy Friday.